able to extend these plays, but you also have to know when it's over, when to throw it away. Don't take those sacks. Don't give up some yardage to get the San Francisco 49ers positive field position after this punt. Debo Samuel came into camp in great shape. Brandon Ayuk looking to build off of his career year last year. Look at how open he is. Look at the route run right there. We just talked about Christian McCaffrey as the running back came in with 12 straight. What a great job by him on the play fake to pick up a free defender that was coming off of the block to allow Brock Purdy to make that throw. It's essentially a toss play. And they get use check out on the perimeter early. <laughs> They're just dressing up basic plays. Uh, sparkling Sunday in Northern California's Bay Area and 45 miles south of San Francisco in the South Bay. Welcome to Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, home of the 4 0 San Francisco 49ers. Led by the remarkable story of their quarterback, Brock Purdy. Tonight, taking on Dan Prescott and the 3 1 Dallas Cowboys on NBC's Sunday Night Football. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tarico, Chris Beach, Green Bay, the Monday Night Turtle to a knee, and this one to the books. Dominant performance, 15 in a row in the regular season. We tie Niners history. That's a pretty sporty accomplishment. Will they meet again in the postseason? Time will tell, but for now, San Francisco is going to walk away feeling great about where they are. Dallas is going to have to answer some questions after this one. Chevrolet post game is next, but first, these messages from your local NBC station. On the fake, a little shovel, McCaffrey has room, center step, breaks the tackle, McCaffrey in for the touchdown! Well, we mentioned Miles Garrett. He's one of the best pass rushers in the entire league, Kev. So what do you do? You screen him. You take advantage of his aggressiveness. He comes up the screen, up the field, thinks he's taking on McCaffrey, and then a little shovel pass screen. Great play design there by Kyle Shanahan. 49ers are the best starters in the league. Jackson still kicks it off, and away we go here in Jacksonville on a bit of a muggy and cloudy Sunday afternoon. It is a touchback. Coming off the line of scrimmage, Beats Devin Lloyd right on the release. It, the most impressive thing about this is Brock Purdy in the pocket. I mean, it is completely collapsing. He's got guys in his face. I still don't know how he got that ball to the spot he got it to. I mean, that is that is well thrown if you're standing in a clean pocket. And that's his guy, isn't it? I mean, the Shanahan family just, they were born to call plays. A little semi-roll away from that, get the safety to move a little bit, and then Brock Purdy does what he's been doing when he needs a deadly accurate throw. Right. did a great job. Brock did a great job. No, everyone did a great job blocking. Our defense stepped up huge, and uh, just this is such a fun team to play with. I love all these guys. Super thankful for them. And uh, hey, Mom. Hey, family. Hi, guys. Wait, and it, uh, uh, since you're here, it's not an easy place to play, is it? No, it's pretty loud in here. We made it look good. We do what? I said we made it look good. We played well. You definitely did. And you guys have dominated this team. What What is it that you sort of have Seattle's number? I don't know. I mean, every game's different. They come out, they play hard, but we play them harder. That's all it is. Is that is that well said? You you get the final word. Go Niners. We're going back to the grip on the job. Let's get this break. Let's go. <laughs> all right, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, well, so thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Game balls, turkey legs. Purdy got some of the cord ready. He's looking for. There you go. The movable feast here. here. It looked live right over the shoulder. I think mean, that's a clean, hard hit. That's, that's the way they want defenders to play. Below the helmet, lead with the shoulder. And that's just a tough one. If you're on the offensive side, it's good to see Swift being able to get up and get off the field. That's that's a tough one. Hopefully he's okay. But 
Just going back to Purdy, as Swift goes off the field, I, I, you know, again, remember, he came on, we did his first start, they beat up Brady in the box, and obviously took him to the championship game, and they wondered what if. How do you feel about him now, a year later? Yeah, I think he's gone from a fun story initially, right, here's Mr. Irrelevant that's coming into a Super Bowl contending team.